Okay. Very cool. So let's keep on going. I'm the Mysterious JG. I'm Purple. And uh, you can always tell me, hey, stop. I need to use the, you know, bathroom or whatever. But we're uh, recording and we are, uh, we're a big chunky dude and are in uh, colonial times. So I guess we're kind of like Aaron Burr. And uh, I don't know that he was even chunky, but we can uh, pick up some stuff in the kitchen here. Or at least we could if the game worked. There we go. Wanted it to. We're getting close to being able to make a delicious spaghetti dinner. Yeah, we probably just need a... Um... we got a can opener. This thing is already open. There is a water pump. I don't see what we would really uh, use it with right I don't now. wanna. I don't wanna. Yeah, we don't really want spaghetti. Can I don't you wanna. pull and then push it? I tried pushing it. I don't want to. I think we need to use it with, and we need a container for the water, which we don't have at this point. Mm. But... I can't open it. I can't move it. I don't know why we can interact with the pantry. Bitchin'. <laughs> well, it's bitching anyway. <laughs> I feel less bad about my swear earlier now. I like I mean, like, it, part of me wants to, like, strenuously object, no, Hoagie and that chick are not part of the mar the uh, Maniac Mansion continuum. Why weren't Sid and Razor included? But no, I like Hoagie. I can't help it. <laughs> I'm war As we play, I am warming more and more to this game. It's already <laughs> open. This truth is marching on, Zerfall. There's not much going on here yet. Or in this room. Not in this room. No keys for uh, no keys on the anybody door. outside. Can you go up the... Uh... Even he Even can. Just it's it. impressive. Considering his size, this is impressive. The zaniness continues. So there is no flagpole in this, uh... It's one of those pulley things. Oh, you know, we haven't finished exploring, but I just... So as soon as Hoagie gets Oops. that battery working, we're set. I'm afraid not. We still need a diamond for the main unit. And your friend in the, the future unit. needs power, too, if she's still alive. Alive? Yeah, Hoagie for some Get reason is safe, but... Get me out of here! I like trees and everything, but this one has got to go. Ah, uh, George can help us with that. Anyway, I switched to Bernard, not knowing we get sucked right into um, a dialogue scene. Dialogue? Because we've got a crowbar, and there was a window upstairs. Now it's where we get to play with the coffee. But we'll... Oh, there's so many things for us to do, Zerfall. I don't even know if we've got time for all of which, them. Which one are we going to do first? I'm going to go try to see if we can use that same crowbar. Maybe one item can be used twice in the game. It's it's crazy, but it just might work. Gosh, why don't I just use the other window? <laughs> Damn it. Oh. I was hoping that it went into a different room. Yeah. Ah, uh, well, I thought that was going to be the key to everything. Well, we can play with the uh, coffee or we can switch back to the past. But yeah, well, I think we've sorry. got to find uh, Dr. Fred's <laughs> ancestor in the past still that's true we gotta, because if we don't do that we'll never get uh that it's already open we'll never get that battery thing working and we need to find a way to oh interesting so the windows are open differently yeah there's red paint. there's also red paint well there's other things to check out, but just because, meanwhile, 400 years later. Get me down from here! The game is basically screaming at us. <laughs> the game is trying to scream at us. Hurry up and solve that puzzle. I figured it out. Have you? Is there a fall? Viewers at home? <laughs> um, yes. Good, okay. We gotta we paint those kumquats. Paint them kumquats. I was feeling all clever. 
It's funny because uh, George Washington is apparently a very gullible and not intelligent person, and he wouldn't realize that you just painted kumquats red. Well, I mean, the game has got a lot of humor. <laughs> Other than that crowbar thing, it's, just, it's kind of like, yeah, I suppose I would have eventually hit a level of desperation of closing the doors. Maybe not. But no, so far the puzzles have been more about, like, humorous ways of getting things lined up than challenging to figure out ways of... Uh, can we pause the video for a second? Yeah. Uh, well, now I can't. Okay, now we can. Okay. All right, pausing. Hey folks, we're back. We had a little pause break, but uh, we are ready to belch. And to call out George Washington for being a puss who couldn't chop down a cherry tree to save his life. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> yes? I've been thinking about what you said about cherry trees. Pondering the great truths, eh? Well... Would you give me a demonstration? I don't see why I should. Wow. Now, so you have to call him out like he's a wussy. Call him out like he's a wussy, but now I want to see the wooden teeth. Do you <laughs> really have wooden teeth? As a matter of fact, I do make use of artificial teeth. I find them to be far superior to the ordinary enamel variety. I don't know why he has like this snotty British voice, but um, <laughs> if it's even supposed to be British, but. My Uncle Henry has false teeth, too. Fascinating, I'm sure. What are you looking at out there? The future. The future of our <laughs> nation. <laughs> Called it. <laughs> that young couple by the tree. That young couple by the tree? No, no. I was just admiring my reflection in the window. <laughs> Striking, aren't I? I guess Brian Mulrooney wasn't that full of himself. He was the first president of Canada, right? No, sorry. Um, <laughs> I remember the name of a Canadian president, folks. Okay. Uh, uh, I've he's been thinking about Mr. what you said oh, about cherry trees. That's why you guys don't have presidents, I'm sorry. Pondering the great truth, eh? Well... What state was he from? <laughs> <laughs> I bet you've lost I it. I bet you've lost it. You couldn't cut down a tree to save your grandmother. Lost it, have I? Why, I'd show you a thing or two if there were a cherry tree nearby. But as you can see, there... Oh, <gasps> dot, dot, well, dot. what do you know? I there pulled the wool over the GWAI. Well, let's go chop the sucker down. This, this, I'd have a lot more jokes to make if Bobo and I had gotten around to playing Metal Gear Solid 2. There's said, all sorts of jokes about the, uh, the Founding Try Fathers. To understand. I'm a magic I'm man! Stuck in this Once again, Japanese perverts are just going crazy. Well, uh, you're quite a man. Yes, I know. I'm a magic man. Boom, boom, shh, boom, boom. As tempting, ding, ding, ding. Well, the whole point of this was to get her. And as, as uh, tempting as it is to use her, we haven't actually explored all the rooms in that the hotel, house, motel, whatever it is, uh, of the past. No, we, we should... We haven't gone upstairs, we haven't gone to the yeah. basement. There's quite a few things we haven't done yet. I guess there's no office yet. They haven't remodeled that in. There's Red Edison. And I can't help Look myself. At all those to -dos. I want to, like, check the rest of the house first. I mean, we really should go down there. No, no, let's go down there and deal with him. I'm being, I'm being silly. Hey. What is it? You look kind of familiar. Of course I do. I'm Red Edison, the inventor. Not to mention owner of this inn. Perhaps you've seen my picture in some important scientific <laughs> journal. Don't think so, old man. Then again, maybe not. I'm trying to get you to deny this. <laughs> Do you know Ben Franklin? Franklin? <laughs> I would never associate with that overstuffed goofball. He has the stupidest idea about glasses with one <laughs> red lens and one blue one. Nice. 
What are you doing? I'm inventing you, simpleton. What's it look like I'm doing? I know an inventor who looks a bit like you. Well, it's not one of my sons, that's for sure. It appears that I, Red Edison, foremost genius of my day, am to be the last in a long line of gifted inventors. My nearly indistinguishable sons have decided that they want to be artists. Ooh, that's rough. I think it was Jed's idea. Or is it Ned? Ah, well, the left-handed one at any rate. Must be some sort of bad blood on their mother's side. What are you inventing? It's a complex metal device designed to minimize paper entropy. Paperclip. Well, see you later. You might if you cut that hair a bit shorter. What? He right. says, even though he has the ponytail. Yes, well, yeah, it's a style and ponytail, though. Uh, so what were we meant to show him, though? The application, I guess. Um, no, the plans. I think that is the application, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. It's the battery oh, look, I didn't realize you could... supposed to give to that Red Edison dude. Oh, no, here's a list of stuff we're going to have to find. Croutons, gold, oil, vinegar, lettuce. Maybe not. It's but, uh, the battery plans. I'm yeah, I think that's... Well, we've already that found the oil. I think, I think I... I now, you're making the mistake I made. I saw a patent application and didn't understand it was the plan. That was why I didn't pick it up, like, three videos ago. And now you're doing the same thing I was doing before. It's like, this is the plan. They don't call it plan. I'm like, no, I can't deal with that. <laughs> anyway. Hmm, super battery, eh? Brilliant design. Sometimes I amaze myself. Now there all we I go. need is oil, vinegar, and some gold. Thought it was going to be so simple. Well, we've got the oil. Ah, excellent! I need that for my super battery. And we still need vinegar and gold. And I've already forgotten what the other one was. Curtains? Croutons. Although he didn't mention those. <laughs> It's covered with plans and junk. <laughs> <laughs> no way could I pick that up. Oh, wait. Anything in lab coat? It looks more like a raincoat than a lab coat. Oh, it's a condom. Hey! Only employees are allowed to use that lab coat. Hmm. Didn't we have something we were going to flush down the toilet, too? Well, we've got... What have we got here? Uh, well, we had stuff we were going to send to him. Uh, not very wrong. Like, we need, he needs the false teeth. Uh, the chattering right. teeth. Is that Sam from Sam and Max? What? Oh, I think it might the be. The picture. I think it might be. Don't forget to close the door. And look for keys. No, not this time. I didn't catch that. I didn't finish saying it. Oh, sorry. Uh, maybe use that to call Lurch. Here I am. Don't get your curls in an uproar. Excuse me, Mr. Washington. Yes, Mr. Washington? Don't you have any cleaning supplies? Like most maids, I keep them on my cart, in the hall. I'll let you get back to your work. Now that you've... Yes, there's lots to be done. Told me what needs to be done here. <laughs> yep. Hey, look, a cart. And there's soap. Old-fashioned oh, water that. in a new, more convenient size. Aha! Uh -huh. Get away from Dad! <laughs> it's a good thing I finished in there quickly. Now scram! Ah, uh, so we have Did to... Did you still make founding fathers like they used to? <laughs> so we have to make so... a bigger mess in the room that will take her longer time to clean. Oh, perhaps, yeah. I guess this is George Washington's bed. Still have red paint. Nah, I like it the way it is. 
Oh, fake vomit, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, perhaps. I also thought maybe if you close the door behind her. But she probably just opens it right away. Yeah. I told you guys I'll get to the flag next. I'm working as fast as I can. Hey, chill. Take your time. Don't tell me you've got another design change for the flag. <laughs> we don't even have the option of not saying this. I've got another design change for the flag. And she kills I knew it. What's the current brainstorm from our fickle founding fathers? Gonna have a chrome braided bald eagle robot. <laughs> all like scorpions that have a hologram on it. We need a babe in a leather bikini swinging a broad axe. Oh, what the heck. At this point, I'd do anything just to have it over with. Put the pattern oh, on the table and I'll look at it when I'm done with this job. It reminds me of a lot of uh, freelance clients I've had. Dull, dull, dull. Hey, don't criticize unless you got a better idea. Because we have to give her a better idea. Nah, I like it the way it is. Oh, I know what we had to send to the future. Comfortable. What do we have to send to the future? Hmm? What do we have to send to the future? Um, I like the these. Too letter late, from the mailbox that said... Those. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So that he can give it to the guy who's depressed, which will give us access to his fake gun, which will allow us to get the gun that actually does shoot fire. I haven't figured out why we need that yet, but we obviously need it. Seeing that lighter might let us get the uh, cigar. All right. I don't quite see how it can fly. Chateau de Chipo, 1775. <laughs> oh, that'll probably be really valuable in the future, though. I bet you we have to bury it somewhere or something and it turns into vinegar. Oh, good call. Looks like he spent a lot of time in there. Because <laughs> he liked to bed ladies. Yes, indeed. French hookers. And others. <laughs> and other hookers? Well, I mean... There's lots of them. Mr. Ed. A horse is a horse, of course. Of course. Uh, hi, horsey. Oh, hi, yourself. <laughs> What's a nice horse like you doing in a place like this? Hey, I live here. What are you doing here? Oh, that reminds me, folks. Uh, there was a... We, um, we had a little pause, uh, and while we were paused, I went ahead and processed the video and came back, and as a result, we played just a little bit off camera, the first few minutes of this video. But we got a little mean whilst wacky, fun, zany cinematic in which... Uh, John Hancock said something like, what if we add a provision that only a human can be president, or prime minister if you prefer, and uh, Tom Jefferson was like, don't be silly, we don't need something like that, which means, although I haven't mentioned it until now, I'm now convinced that at some point we have to get an animal elected president, and now I think we've met them. <laughs> yeah. I didn't think horses could talk. Maybe they just never had anything to say to you. Ever think of that? <laughs> oh, you I'll make it burn. Horses have been snubbing me my whole life. Well, if you want to put it that way. Nice teeth. Thanks. I paid quite a bit for them. <laughs> Did I mention how great your teeth look? Thanks again. I'm trying to get back to the future and save the world. The future, huh? And I thought that Franklin guy was off his nut. Is this See, some they kind keep of saying a trick? A in the subtitles and I saying home when they talk. I'm just a horse. Well, I gotta go. See you later. So what can we do with the horse? And he's got a glass. It looks like someone's dentures were in here. Hey, I've got to put them somewhere. 
I don't want it. Oh, here's the useless sons. The oh, question right. is, which one's stuffed and which one's the real McCoy? I assure you that we are both real, but we are neither one of us McCoys. We are Edisons, Ned and Jed. Who's who? Does it really matter? Even our dear father can't tell us apart. He only knows that one of us is left-handed while the other is right, but that neither of us are following in his tiny scientific footsteps. So that's the... Hold still, Jed! So, I'm almost too frightened to ask, are you the marble delivery man? Or the model? Rick Martell? I'm the model, so I take my clothes off on the delivery man. Okay, if I unload in here... I'm no marble delivery man, but rock is my life. <laughs> I'm sure that's terribly amusing, <laughs> where you're from. Where exactly did you come from? The Valley of the Future. The Future? Kind of spooky sounding, ain't it? Ooh, the future. I'm from the future. Look out. Gosh, it would be so nice if you weren't here anymore. <laughs> I'm the model. Should I take my clothes off now? No. No, you most definitely should not. We couldn't get your body shape right anyway, unless we cemented two slabs of marble together. But then your statue would have a big seam in it. That's okay, it would have one anyway. <laughs> Look, don't call us. We'll call you. Dang. I'll call you fat. <laughs> I'm the delivery man, okay, if I unload in here? Actually, we are well supplied with medium, so thank you, no. There's no joke there. Ah, oh, here we go, and there's the joke. <laughs> this ain't medium, it's the extra large stuff. Please go away. We artists are very sensitive to your kind of people. What kind of people? Big, dumb people. Sorry, hope I haven't jostled you. Too late. Okay. He's obviously making the statue that's in Edna's room later. Right, and somehow we'll have to travel through time. Use that as a time travel aid. It's Ned or Jed's head. <laughs> Alright, so he's got a mallet. It's a right handed hammer. Please Man, give me back this. my hammer. Please give me back my hammer. Uh, we have to find a left-handed hammer. That's ridiculous. Uh, I it, so. it won't let us move after we take it, so... Meanwhile... <laughs> Soon all the power of the heavens will be mine! <laughs> oh, my! Oh, they're already going there with if the joke. only we had some nasty weather! I keep trying to interrupt to make jokes, and they're already, they're already making the joke I'm going for. <laughs> Alright, so we've gone full circle here. Uh, Ned and Jed's bed. And there's no way into the other room like there is in the future. Yipe! Okay, do we have anything else the cat would be interested in? Can you brush in? the cat? I suppose it's possible. That's with like a deck brush. brush. I don't wanna. Not with a deck brush. Maybe if we try eight times, like a Sierra game, it will suddenly work. <laughs> All right, we're out of things to do. Let's, uh... Get me out of here! Oh. I haven't done anything! Well, you must have done something or you wouldn't be here now, would you? You'd be out in the lobby with your tentacle owner getting dressed up for the human show. Owner? No one owns me! <laughs> Gosh, no owner, you say? Well, don't worry about it. I'm sure someone will come adopt you before we have to put you to sleep. 
Damn that Dr. Dystopian Fred. Dystopian hey, tentacle future. Hey, she knows the Edison family motto. <laughs> 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 oh, she has a scalpel. Let's use that on old man. I don't think killing an old man will help. Yet. <laughs> Didn't Whoa. take it. I can't kill my fellow inmates. I don't even know them yet. I can't kill my fellow inmates. I I can't. My therapist and I have an agreement. <laughs> this is a weird game. Hey, pick up guy playing cards. She's a she is a looker. Best not bother them. They're busy cheating. Hey, they can cheat. You can't. Now, why would I want to ruin the only entertainment these poor wretched humans have? Kicks? <laughs> <laughs> so apparently they are talking out Dr. loud every time Fred, they think something. Is that you? What? You're not. No, I don't have that. There hasn't girl. been a Fred in the Edison family for 200 years. The last Fred was such a shame to the whole family, not to mention the whole human race. Hmm. Well, who are you then? I'm Zed Edison. That's my wife, Zedna, and my son, Ved. <laughs> it's the future. <laughs> yep. Nice to meet you. So, people have Z's and stuff in their names. What's this about a human show? It's a degrading farce. That's what it is. These slimy tentacles put humans in humiliating little costumes, do sickening things to their hair, and then force them to parade their ridiculous talents in front of unqualified judges who are paid off weeks in advance. Didn't get in, eh? They said macrame wasn't a talent. Pointy-headed <laughs> goons. I heard that. Okay. Where am I? You're in the ancestral home of the once proud Edison family. We were once the masters of this house, just as humans were once the masters of Earth. Now we are the servants, the pets. And not very good at either one, I might add. Oh, get bent, you overdressed nightcrawler. How do I get out of here? If I knew that, do you think I'd be here? I'm tired of talking now. It's been a long day, and I'm only... human. Aww. Aww. It's a very sad way to end the video. Yet, end the video we will. Um, yeah, I'm not really seeing a whole lot of things that we get to do here, but I guess we've got two other time periods to play with, so... Um, Yep. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure. We must have to do something to trigger her getting set free in the future. But uh, she's got a scalpel. That's nice. <laughs> I, I suppose she. Was, <laughs> I guess she must have been carrying that around the whole time, like including when she was. She was. She was very much looking forward to her dissection earlier. Yeah, she was she dissect mentioned the, that. Uh, dissect the hamster. At any rate, folks, we're gonna call it a video. I'll I'll have to cobble it together in two pieces, but it'll be fine. And uh, when we come back, I guess we're gonna go back in time. <laughs> I'm the um, sure <laughs> I'm Durval. And I will see you then. Bye bye. Bye. Oh, hold on. Not bye yet. I have to come up with a wacky name, so I guess back in time will do. All right, folks. See you next time.